Hello fellow engineers, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> the game that I built a bridge in and sent to space, almost. I feel like I learned a lot from that video, so I thought today we'd try and go back to the longest ever rocket, because I got some ideas of how to make it work. Don't look so scared, little man, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start game. This is better, I want this, I want this guy in my rocket. He looks way more excited. Snake. And of course, we are the UK Space Agency. Represent. We're going to build a mofo and snake called Simon. <laughs> the description is long boy with an eye. Right, so you know the drill by now. You start off with a command pod. Yes. We add some safety. Ooh, adapters. What's an adapter do? Oh. No. No. Stop getting distracted. Oh, payloads. Oh, look at these. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing. Uh, right, I, th I think we'll come back to this. I think this is a bit a bit too hardcore for me. <laughs> anyway, as we were, as we were, safety. <laughs> So I don't, I don't think I need the safest parachute ever. <laughs> so I think we'll, uh, we'll keep it normal size. We might even shrink it so it actually fits. Can you imagine? Because I'm not, I'm not a monster. Uh, right. So next we want heat shield because we are, we're going straight up into space this time. I reckon first time lucky we'll be up there. So where is heat shields? Thermal. There you go. Normal heat shield. Right. We're looking pretty, pretty good. Now I want a decoupler. Right, I have noticed actually scrolling through all these decouplers. Can you see there? Ejection force 50. And if I go right, ejection force 100, 200. So I could use that. So I'm just sort of interested. Will that launch me up a bit? Because there's a bit of force there. It might like boosh. This is for science. So yeah, if I just launch that, is that going to... No. <laughs> oh, that was disappointing. So... Two things I want to try. One, I feel like I learned a lot from building the truss. I learned how to stabilize rockets, like the bend, the bend of rockets. So if I use like a normal long fuel, is that long? I don't know if that's long. Is that longer? No, that's that's way smaller. What about that one? That says long. Oh, it's really fat. So essentially, if I do this, you can alt, wang that under there. All right, so we've got a pretty tall rocket now. And just, just for like, just so we know what happens, I'm going to... Bung a rocket underneath an engine, sorry. Alright, so stick an engine underneath and then surround it with boosters. Up the symmetry. These ones sorted there. Oh, they are touching, so that's not great. But still, we bung some nose cones on there. <laughs> sorted, right, okay. So this is like the test one, just so you can see what happens. So as you can see, looks pretty good. All our staging is set up. Yeah, okay, so we'll launch this and we'll just see what happens. So, oh, look, it's actually going okay. It's not bending. Okay, there it goes. There's the bend. And then we're back in the flaming tampon, which just broke off. So as you can see, very, very bendy. So what I've learned from the last few episodes, there's a couple of ways that I can fix this. So before we actually go too far, I do actually just want to make it bigger. We're taking off already. All right, so click there, there you go. Now I wanna take this bit and go down, back into the thing, Ooh, we'll go back up. Whee! We'll grab this, so I'm gonna Alt and click. That allows me to copy, stick that underneath. Do the same, ah, bollocks. <laughs> oh, here we go, so we're pretty close now. So I can move that out of the way, and then move this back up. All right, so that's all connected. So we should be able to see this time, if I play this, a bit more of what the problem is, and then we'll fix it, I hope. So there's our rocket, oh God, oh dear. <laughs> We've made a spiral. <laughs> Ow. Oh wow, everything blew up. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna launch that again. We're gonna launch straight away just to see what happens. This is our like base test, our proper base test. All right, and we're away. That's incredible, that's so cool. Okay, so as you could see from that, it wasn't the best. Uh, I do possibly, potentially, have a fix though. Using what I learned last episode with the bridge. So I'm going to take some structural stuff. Of course, we're using I-beam. Everyone had a go at me saying these were H-beams. Uh, the title there says I-beam. 
So yeah, it's not it's not the orientation that describes whether this is called an I-beam or an H-beam, although that clearly says H, and it happens to be an H-beam. So the difference is an I-beam, this bit here, which is called the web, it's a bit longer, and these bits, which is called a flange, <laughs> flange, uh, they're usually like tapered a bit, so that they're not square at the end. They like go from a bit thicker there to a bit thinner there. So technically, yes, these are H-beams, but in the game they're called I-beams. Anyway, what I plan on doing is working out how far a strut goes. So you can see under my mouse, there's like a end of strut thing, like connection thing. So that means I can connect it. As soon as it disappears, that means the strut's too long. So I can only go to there. So what I want to do, I'm thinking like as a civil engineer. So I want to use I-beam. I want to add three-way symmetry. I think three-way could be the right thing to do. Maybe a bit more, I don't know. I'm going to go to about there. I think that's probably a good spot. I'm going to grab the strut. I'm going to go from there and go to the top of my rocket. Hey, what happened? Where did the struts go? Wait, there you go. There we go. Right. So what I plan on doing is sort of just copy this all the way down. So I want to go about there, I think. I should probably line it up with the rockets. So I think there and then strut between the two. So if I take that. And I connect it to that. Oh no, I think it's too far. Yep, I did them too far. Okay, so I move that up. Up a couple of rockets. Up to there, maybe. So from there to under there. One thing, as the rocket tries, like, so they're on this orientation. If the rocket tries to bend right, that will get, like, tight. That will stop it moving. Meanwhile, if that tries to, like, bend, the ones on this side should get tight. So hopefully that should mean the rocket doesn't move. Uh, whether that's actually true though, I am not entirely sure. I feel like maybe I should just copy the entire thing. Oh, there you go. Oh, and it actually did it. Sweet. Okay. I feel like this might be a time lapse or something, but uh, I'll see you on the other side. Bollocks. All right, so now we're down to here. We can just do the final bit of strutage. From there, somewhere like there. All right, and now we can just go for a crazy zoom and admire the strutted. <laughs> There's so much. All right, come on, Simon. We got this. If this works, I'm actually a genius, I reckon. The only thing I'm a bit worried about, thinking about it, is these might wobble. So maybe I need to connect them. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right, loading takes a lot longer, uh, but we're a lot less wobbly. <gasps> I think it's working. Oh no. Oh no. That's not meant to happen. No. Oh, I thought it saved itself. Uh, just a quick revert to launch and I'll press launch straight away. Ready? Fire. <gasps> Bollocks. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Jeb, you might survive. He didn't survive. Why the shit didn't that work? There's so many. <laughs> There's so many eye beams everywhere. Uh, right, we we gotta we gotta go fix that somehow. All right, so I am wondering, is it what I said before, in that we should have strutted from there to there on each one, because that will mean it can't move even more, right? All right, it looks like I'm drawing all these by hand. For <laughs> sake, another time lapse. By the way, before anyone comments to tell me there's a quick way of doing this, just don't. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> this is the quickest way, I swear. 346 minutes later. If this doesn't work, I'm going to... I'm not going to be too annoyed. I, ha I have a backup plan, so it will be fine. Do not worry, people. I will get Simon the Snake into space. Are my nose cones triggering anyone? <laughs> Sorry, if so. Right, come on then, Simon. Let's see what we got. Right, looking... Fairly stable. Oh, no, it isn't. No, oh, that was a waste of time. That was a waste of time. Although, more of it survived. So, some sort of positive, I think. All right, just launch straight away. Come on, come on. We got this. Oh, no, now it's like a giant tampon. I've actually just made a pipeline. <laughs> An oil pipeline. God damn it. Right, okay, I think I think that's a that's a no. That doesn't help, really. Surprising. Surprising. Uh, but I do I have something else up my sleeve. Right, so what I'm thinking now 
is we copy a few of these. So maybe we'll try sections about that big, maybe. So if I can get this to launch, then I can just copy the section. Because basically, I think trying to do the tampon idea, having all your boosters at the bottom and then all your fuels above. Not going to work. The easy solution would be move your boosters to the top. But I think, I think that's a bit too easy. There's no engineering involved. That's just common sense. <laughs> So for this one, we've got four fuel tanks. I'm going to try and find just little little wiener engines. Oh, look, it's called a poodle. <laughs> Is that small? Oh, no, that's pretty big, actually. All right, we'll try a spider. What does that look like? Oh, that could work. Right, so a spider's thrust is 1.79 kilonewtons. People in the comments last time told me this is my weight. I assume that isn't newtons. That's probably kilonewtons, isn't it? Oh, okay, this could be a better one. Oh, look at that. And we'll see if that's any good. All right, it's not bending, so that's good. <laughs> uh, if this lifts up, then hopefully I should just be able to copy. I'm going to bang the throttle to the top. And then... Oh, yes. Oh, my God. So throttle halfway lifts this. Bloody hell. Oh, and it's fully maneuverable. Oh, yes. Okay, I think we might have it, guys. Yeah, so I want to see how many fuel tanks I can add. And this still works. Yeah, oh god, it won't it won't turn around. No, no, revert. That was close. That was close. So I want to move these. I'm going to, I'm going to delete them. Just first off, so copy that under there. So four times symmetry. I'm going to put them on the bottom. Sweet. So let's try that. So this is quite a step up in length. So the throttle might have to go all the way to the top. So, right, let's try that. <gasps> it does lift. It does lift. And it's kind of going. Now we've got all that fuel as well. This is bloody wicked. And it looks like a knob. It sort of looks like a knob. So that's like we've achieved greatness. How stable is it in the air? I'm trying to wiggle it. It's not It's not too bad. Okay, right. That's pretty excellent, if you ask me. We've How high is space? Oh, wait, it's like 70. That We've used half our fuel nearly. Or a third at least. Space is still a long way up. Oh, and I don't have a decoupler. Bollocks. But anyway, I think this is this is reason enough to say the concept is going to work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stack these up. So I'm going to copy from there, wang them underneath, four more engines, four more engines. And uh, we'll try and go as high as we can. I have not seen space in this game for a long time. <laughs> it's so dark. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, we've lost control. Ah, oh, because I did an SAS. You've got a SAS map. I love that that looks like a knob. <laughs> a UK space agency. We're on the right path. We are on the right path. Right, let's go make this longer. All right, so first off, I'm going to add a decoupler because safety first. Come on, people. I'm an engineer. Whee! Right, so in theory, I should just be able to grab that and stick it under there. And then grab that and stick that under there. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried the rocket might be sitting a bit too close to the fuel tank. Is that okay or is that a bit dangerous? I don't know. Right, that's pretty good, I reckon. Let's uh, let's give it a launch. Let's see what happens. All right, here she is. I'm going to launch straight away. Wait, what? <laughs> parachute, parachute. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize what happened there. I think um, staging. Yep, staging, right. So decoupler needs to go up there. Add another one. Decoupler in the middle. Ah, I'm trying to do it before everything blows up. All right, revert to launch. I think we're good now. I'm going to hit launch straight away. Oh, bollocks. What happened? Shit. I thought I just fixed my state. All right. That is not a very big parachute either. I thought I picked the biggest bloody parachute, but... <laughs> well, I'm glad I know you before we got too high. The trouble is I can't get to the top of the rocket very easily. That's as high as I can scroll, but I think I can. Yeah, I can do that. All right. So that parachute, waste of space. I'm pretty sure that's a good one. Yeah, that will save us. That will save us. All right, let's start this staging. So I need an extra stage. Am I doing this the right way? Is it rockets at the bottom? I can't really remember. So why is there not a way to do all of them? Look at that. That looks impressive, if I say so myself. Right, let's launch this bad boy. Come on, Simon. I'm going to launch straight away as soon as it loads. All right, launch. Oh, bollocks. I forgot to do the that bit, the throttle. All right, throttle up and launch. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. It's working. It's actually working. Oh, the bottom's like going mental. 
Look at the bottom. Is that because SAS is off? Shit. What way are you going? Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That was nearly so good. I feel like SAS ruined it. Don't think we're going up anymore, though. Yeah, abort, abort. Parachute. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Slow down. Yes. Successful launch. Okay, concept is there. I've just got to... I need better pilots. That's the only thing that went wrong. He didn't steer well enough. All right, throttle up. No S... It... <laughs> I'm dying. The bottom is wiggly. That is the only downside at the moment. <laughs> what is it doing? Stop wiggling, please. I think if I leave SAS off, we're still good. That's not bad. But we are actually going to space. I'm pretty sure. We're going to space. We are going to space. It's not burning this time. We are running out of fuel, though. A little bit disappointing. Oh, no, no. The back end's going mental. Oh, no, it's all going mental. Oh, shit. We're pointing the wrong way now. i got to try and steer this. We tied a knot. We nearly tied a knot. Oh, no. Our ass fell off. Do I decouple? I'm going to decouple. See ya. Look at us go. Heat shield in place. Huge ass parachute. Oh, I can see the shadow. <laughs> I can see the shadow of the snake. I can hear explosions. Oh, look, there it is. There it is. <laughs> can you see that? Look at the snake. Man, imagine if you were like having a picnic like down under one of those trees and then a shadow like that flew over you. <gasps> there it is. Oh, shit. It's going to hit the ground down there. Wait, what? What the frig? It just javelins into the ground. <laughs> I made a pole. That is not fair. Why are you completely straight now and you couldn't be when you were flying? <laughs> it has just javelined into the ground. Alright, so if I right click, I could scale them up. <laughs> right click, not left click, you tit map. Alright, we'll try that. Alright, launch, throttle up. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. It's too fast for us. So good. <laughs> um, okay, that might have been a bit too much power. But there are bits everywhere. Okay, maybe I don't want to throttle up as much. Alright, so that's a little bit better. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't do the top ones. Ah, my face. <laughs> okay, I think I just need to do the top. Yes, I didn't scale these top three. That was the main problem there. Nothing else, just that. I'm going to change this from Simon the Snake because this is this is proper change now. This is a uh, this is A N and L beads. Of course, because I know it's going to work now. It's ready for the maiden flight, so it's ready for the UK Space Agency logo in orange, of course. <laughs> right, let's go. We've got a little bit of explosion, but I think we're good. <laughs> I've literally made ow beads. Right, sod it. Full power. Let's get out of here. Oh, that's all of our fuel gone instantly. Oh, oh dear. That's um, that's a little bit embarrassing for the UK Space Agency. I think we might have to go back to the drawing board on this one. <laughs> I really thought that was going to work. Like, really, really thought that was going to work. Tell you what, I might be able to fix it. All right, I am thinking, though, if I were to start again almost, but I'm going to grab these and do them on, like, the offset. So we got like a alternating pattern. So as you look down, it goes from that side, 45. Yeah, like that. All right, quick, before it goes mental. I was a bit late kicking off then, but, but we are looking good, I think. If I can get that tail to stop bloody wibbling. Oh, look, it's actually got a good trajectory. We've run out half of our fuel, though, and we are not halfway up. <laughs> Bollocks! I might try, just for science, SAS and stuff from the start. Bloody hell, what is that tail doing? Alright, gotta be quick on the launch. We turn on everything quick. Alright. <gasps> That's actually good. That's straight, and we're on full power. Yes! No! Stop wiggling down there. Stop wiggling down there. <laughs> the UK Space Agency needs this one. Please stop. We are going whoa high now, though. 6,000 meters already. It's not its not as stable as a conventional rocket, but uh, it's a lot longer as well. I'm about to run out of fuel. That's got to count as space, surely. Can I have that one, please? Please, commenters, can I have this one? 
We are still going up, actually. We might actually get space. <gasps> we got space. It's the longest rocket in space. Surely. Oh, shit. It's coming back down now. Bollocks. I reckon, though, the actual KSB players among you might be impressed with that attempt. Like, surely. Surely. Look at it. Look how cool it is. Oh, look. It's getting the old speed bubbles. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going mental. I might have to eject. Yeah, I'm going to have to eject. Sorry. Sorry, Simon. <laughs> But we must save Jeb and the flag. More importantly, the flag. Oh, no. Boosh. If it can explode that much, why couldn't the fuel just get me a bit higher? All right, so one more thing to try. Just because I'm not entirely sure how good those rockets are. We'll try a different sort of engine. So rather than an actual conventional facing down one. Can I, like, wang one of them on? Oh, yes, I think I can. So I could... Do four-way symmetry like that. I'm just thinking bigger rocket or bigger motor, whatever you want to call that. Is it, is it called a motor? What I'm thinking, if I do that, and then that should sort of, rather than going straight down, it should keep it a bit more in line. All right, so starting from the ground, we've got four rockets at the bottom, and then we just repeat all the way up. Whee! And the UK Space Agency flag with a parachute in the middle. Was at the core of the UK Space Agency is safety. All right, ready? We'll launch straight away. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. Look at that. It's all blue. You can tell it's good because it's blue. Oh, no, the RSN fell off. Throttle. Oh, we ran out of fuel. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think this one's getting to space. I think the last one was actually better. So this was far more impressive looking. <laughs> All right, it's just to make sure we've done everything we've done. Is that words? Is that words? Is that a sentence? I'm going to do the old boosters up the top. I'm only going to add four because I don't want them to clash with my other engines. So four there. Engines, big ass boosters. And I think we'll just add loads of them. All right, I think, I think that's suitable. I think that should be pretty stable now. Come on, UK Space Agency. You got this. I can hear my GPU fans. <laughs> they are firing. Right, ready? Launch. Whoa. What? There wasn't enough struts. Are you kidding me? So only those four exist. <laughs> is that actually lifting up? It is slowly but surely lifting us up. <laughs> it's a bit like a hot air balloon at the moment, I think. Uh, right, I'm going to go back and strut some more. Right, surely that is enough struts. Surely. Please. <laughs> What is this called? This is got to be X marks the spot. All right, ready, ready. Get ready to launch. Launch. Yes. Yes. No. Why? That's bull. I demand a recount. <laughs> I sound like Trump. Hang on, we're doing a flip. Oh, God. All right, when we get the right way around. Here we go. Shit. Me. <laughs> oh, dear. The boosters are stuck and... Where's Jeb? Where's Jeb? Parachute, parachute, parachute. Quick! Ah! Bollocks. Well, anyway, back to bridge building next time, I think. <laughs> Obviously wasn't cut out for the uh, the space trade, but I've got I got a good idea of what I can do with the bridge. I'm gonna well you have to you have to wait till next time. But thanks for joining. Peace, love, bridges. Well no bridges, just peace, love and grass. See ya, bye!